Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Patek Web Design's uh, camera review. And today we're going to take a look at the Kata R104 camera bag. It's another bag we use here at Patek Web Design. It's the most recent acquisition that we've made. And again, like all Kata products, good strong material. I'm sure uh, in uh, our normal lifetime we're not going to wear this bag out. It's a backpack has a nice heavy-duty harness for throwing it over your shoulder. Kata also supplies a, a belt system here which goes around your waist like so. You can click, clip it up like this and it attaches to the bottom of the camera bag with Kata's signature slick clip connectors, one on either side. So that's really handy for carrying a heavy load and distributing the weight. This system works really well. The bag itself, one of our major requirements is that it has a laptop compartment. And the laptop is on the back side of the bag. It accommodates a 13 to a 15 inch uh, MacBook and comes with a separate case if you want to carry a 17 inch uh, laptop. And if you're using the, the pouch that Kata provides to carry your 17 inch laptop, you'd find that the corners of the laptop bag actually extend out outside the slot here on the laptop bag. Myself, we're using a 13-inch MacBook for most of the stuff that we do, so it fits into this uh, the laptop compartment fairly easily. We can zip it up, it's protected from the elements, and that's uh, all, we, all we really need. But uh, Kata does supply this extra little bag for the larger version laptop, so there you go. One feature we love about this bag is the quick access to your camera. It has a separate access panel right on the top. You can pull this flap out of the way. There's a little Velcro tab here and you've got quick access to your camera with the battery grip installed and using a little bit longer lens. So that's a great feature and it's one of the things that I tend to look for uh, for camera bags and any equipment we use to carry our equipment around. So that's a great feature, quick access. And again, I just keep my R-strap under the front end so it supports the, the heavy weight of the lens. And what I like about this bag is that with the battery grip installed, as you can see, it's right, it's right flush with the top of the bag, so there's, you're not struggling to get the camera in and out, and you don't have to force anything when you go to do the compartment up. There's just two zippers, you pull them up like so, and that takes care of your quick access compartment. There's also two zippers here if you want to open up the bag and see the full contents. Let's pull this open like so, and now, you've got access to all of your gear inside the bag. Very similar if you saw the OC84 review we did a little while ago. Uh, my equipment is set up pretty much the same. Got a longer uh, Sigma lens here, got a 15 to 30 Sigma wide angle, 28 to 105 speed light up here. I've got room for my uh, Hoodman stuff here like my hood loop and my right angle viewer and even accommodates the Fonginator. So lots of space, that, that's a kind of a bulkier item. So it fits in here fairly well. And uh, this flap comes up, seals everything up. On the inside of the backpack, Cod is very ingenious with their storage compartments. There's a storage compartment on either side. I got a compact flash card in here. You've got one on the other side. You've got another zippered compartment down the middle. You can get my hand in here. You can store quite a bit of stuff in here. Compact flash cards, brushes, uh, handy wipes, whatever you want to put in here. So lots of room in there. Fold the main flap down. Zip it up like so. On the front of the bag, two more storage compartments. So I've got some uh, AA batteries here I use for the speed light. So this bag has so many little compartments on it, I'm not sure we're going to squeeze them all in or mention them all in this, this review. There's one on the other side here, same thing. You can unzip it, you've got some space over on this side. And on the side of the bag, on either side of the bag, there's two separate containers, little packs. And on this one here, I've got the rain cover for the R104. and. Uh, Lots of space. You could even use this for a smaller lens. 
On the other side, you've got another small pack, uh, big enough for a, a small lens or a water bottle, whatever you want to carry in there. So, a uh, great feature. Another item that Kata supplies with the R104, and that is a tripod holder. And the tripod holder comes with a couple of straps. And again, it would attach to, there's a number of configurations for mounting this tripod holder, but uh, basically you can use the slick clip connectors. Geez, I said it right this time. Uh, hook them up on the bottom like so, and then it comes with a couple extra straps where there, there's loops all the way up here on the TST material, so you can set your tripod to whatever height you need to balance it. You can mount the tripod on the back of the bag. So it's sitting this way, or you can even hook it up so it's mounted on the side of the bag. So, like I say, we haven't had this bag for too long, but what we've seen of it so far, we really like it. Every time we go out, um, we seem to be more amazed by the amount of uh, pockets and storage space there is on this bag. And it fits our D200 with the battery grip installed really well, so that's, uh, that was paramount for us. So again, another great bag. This time we purchased from Adorama Camera in New York. And uh, the bag was about $149 from Adorama. Sometimes, I think the usual price is closer to $200, but uh, I think we just got lucky and purchased it on sale. So again, another great bag. If you're looking for a phenomenal backpack to carry a fair amount of kit around, take a look at the Kata R104 and uh, you won't be disappointed. So that's our review and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.